Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop. Welcome to the show, Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini, and tonight I'm going to paint a whale that I made a few weeks ago. I made Moby Dick, and I'm going to show you. This is Moby Dick, and you'll see that, you know, I made a lot of detail with him. You can see all the scratch marks and things. We had a lot of battles with Captain Ahab and other whale boats and things, so I wanted to capture all that with the, the paint, and you can see a lot of that detail. I'll show you the types of paints that we can use. They're acrylic paints, which in these are the tubes which can be bought in any art store. Like I have black, I have brown, I have gray, I have a, like a light tan or a brown, a light tan, and a white. And those are the colors we're going to use to paint the whale Moby Dick. I also have these brushes here. I have brushes that are wide, and some are thinner than others. I'll usually start with the wider brushes, and like this and I'll go to the, the less wide brushes as uh, time goes on. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get him over here. We'll take our Liquitex paints and I'll put them over there and we're going to take the gray one and I'll show you. We're going to put that right here. Dip that right there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to paint we're going to paint the entire whale that color. So we're going to see this. Just like that. And what I like about this, you just kind of dab it in because you want to make sure you capture all that wonderful detail that I have with the, uh, the scarring on the body and things like that. And I just dab that in really nicely. We get the, the bottom of the tail flukes. See that, how that looks? Just kind of dab it just like that. And be nice. We'll dab that. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to flip it over. See that? We're going to do that side too. See that? Get around the edges. We want to get around the edges of the whale. And then we're going to fill that in really nicely. See how I'm doing that? Right there. That's good. And then what I want to do is I'm going to get some of the underside too. Just gonna flick it in there, make it look good. Just like that. And then what I want to do is I want to do the top here too a little bit. Make sure we fill that in nicely. Just flick over it like that. See how that's filling in so nicely? Now we want to do this side here. Just flick it in there like that. Just like that. Flick it in. That makes it look really nice. See how that? We're getting all that. You don't have to complain, paint the entire underside, but I just want to get a little bit underneath like that. Because this gives it a nice base coat. Then we got the the jar under here. See that? Then we're gonna paint around the paint around the eye.
see how nice that is. See I'm painting all that area in there. And I just want to kind of touch up around the eye too. We're not painting the eye itself, but the area around the eye. So now I'm going to flip it over to the other side. We'll do the same thing over here. Make sure you get that lower jaw there. Like that. And then paint the upper jaw. I'm going gonna, gonna to paint like that. See, it fills in all those areas, that, all those scars and things really nicely. And it'll, make, it'll, it'll show up a lot better. And now I'm going to paint even like the front of the head here. Paint, we're going to continue painting the side. Just like that, you know. Just flick it right along. And see how we're doing all that. And then what I want to do is now I'm going to paint the very top. Make sure that I didn't miss any spots. But that's a, that's a good base coat right now. See that? Really nice base coat. Don't worry if you don't paint the entire, the entire area under there, but what we're going to do also is I do have a little hair dryer here, and we have used this in the past few weeks. I just want to take it and, and dry it for a minute or two, and we'll just put this on and dry the paint a little bit. And now that we've used the hair dryer, it should be a little easier to handle and the, the paint it's still a little sticky, but not that bad anymore. The next thing that we want to do is I want to paint, use black. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the eyes, and we're going to paint part of the mouth and the lower jaw. I'll show you. So we want to paint this eye here black, but not, not the entire area. And then I'm going to put a little black here and a little black inside the mouth to kind of accentuate it so it makes it more visible. So I'll put that there, and we'll open up the black paint, which is right here. And I'll put that right here. So now, I'm going to take this. And right here, as you can see, I'm going to paint right under here a little bit. The inside of the mouth like that. Just going to accentuate that a little more. And then I'm just going to kind of dab a little black on the bottom here too. Just like that. Now, I'm going to flip this over and try to get a little more black here. See that? Just like that. And then, We'll paint a little more black here on, on the bottom. And then what we'll also do, I'm just going to just dab this in here for a second. I want to make sure that the brush is nice and pointy now. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to take my... Uh, 
So now, what I want to do now is there's, see, there's a little point for the eye. Let's put it in there. I put a little hole there, so. See how we did that? And then I'm going to rotate them around. Do the same thing on the other side. Goes right in there. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little brown, put him down. I'll put this right here. And I am going to paint the eye a little more. But this time with the brown. So we're going to paint around the pupil a little bit. So right here. See that? So what I'm going to do is paint around that, paint around the black. Now we're going to switch to the other side. We'll do the same thing. See how nice that looks? It's really starting to come along nicely. The next thing that we want to do is I want to use like a light tan color, like a white, whitish tan for the teeth. So we're going to put that here. I'll move the black out of the way so you can see it. See that? I just put it right there. that. Clean that up nicely. Now what we're going to do we're going to paint those teeth. Now on a, whale, a sperm whale the teeth are only on the lower jaw. There's no teeth on the upper jaw. So see that? I'm just painting that. I'm going to turn them around and I'm going to paint the other teeth. See that? So now, the next thing that we want to do 
is I want to add a little bit of white. So I'm going to get the last color. And I'll flip this around so you can get a better view. I'll put the white right here. So now what we want to do is just take the white. You just want to kind of flick it over there because Moby Dick was a white whale. So that's why we're just going to kind of flick a little bit here and there. Flick around there like that. Just flick it a little bit. I don't want to cover up the gray completely, but and then the bottom we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to flick it a little bit. Just take a little bit and just kind of flick like that. See how we're doing that? Just like that. And then we'll do the same to the other side. Just flick it a little bit. Because I still want some of the gray to kind of show through there, but I'm just going to flick it. And then what we're going to do, we'll take and flick a little bit here and there. See that? Just like that. See how I'm doing that? Just flick it. Just flick a little bit there. Just going to flick it around. Because you're just touching it ever so lightly. You don't want to go too deep, but. Like that. That looks really nice. And now I'm going to flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. Flick it a little bit. See that? Gives a nice contrast in color. Kind of work our way around. like that. Can you get that? See that how that's really coming along? I'm going to flick a little bit here on the on the head too. On this side. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. Just flick it a little bit. You can see how nice that side looks that way. Now we're going to continue on this side, and I'll show you. Just kind of get the front there too, Sam, so dabbing that.
And I'm going to dab a little on the bottom too, on the, the bottom jaw. Lighten it up a little bit. Even though we painted the black, you paint a little over the black and it makes it look a little better. So it won't be as dark. Now I'm going to rotate to this side. Now, you know, you're going to get his, his just kind of dab, just like that. Dab it all around, just like that. Just dab it a little bit. See how we did that? So he's the great white whale. So what I did is I dabbed that all around, created a really nice effect. See that? And I might, I'll, I'll, I think I'll add a little more up top here. I think we could use a little more up here. Now that I look at it. But I wanted to look all banged up and, you know, I wanted to look like a rugged old whale that's been in the ocean for a long, long time and he's had a lot of sea battles and, and you can see that with all the scarring and everything that he has on his body. And that's what the other side will look like. Now the other side, you don't got to worry about painting that entire thing. And then what we'll do too is I'll just touch up the underside of the jar a little bit because it's a little black, put a little more white. But we'll keep we'll let some of the black show through on that. I do want to show you what the final version of the Moby Dick whale will look like. And let me just dry my hands off, make sure I don't get any paint on my new one. What we're also going to do before I show you the finished one, I have this high, this gloss, it's uh, this clear gloss, acrylic. And what you would do is once this is dried, I'm not going to do it here, but you would spray it, go back and forth like that, spray it on there, both sides. I would wear gloves when you do it, and it'll give it a nice, really nice shiny effect. So the thing that we, I'll show you is now this is what the final version of Moby Dick will look like. See on the bottom? See how I did the flicks of white on the tail? On the bottom, you have little flicks of white. I didn't paint the entire thing, but the white, white around the jaw, See how the, we have the black color around there? And you can see the flicks of the white paint. So you can see the gray and the white that's still there. But you can see a lot of the scarring marks that are on him. You know, because, uh, you know, he fought with Captain Ahab and he had sank the, 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 sh the ship at the very end. And uh, I'll flip this over so you can see the other side. And uh, you can see a lot of the detail. See how nice that looks? And then I want to show you the very top. And that's what the final version of Moby Dick will look like. I do want to thank you for coming to Creations of Clay. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.